Hello children, in today's class we will be starting a new chapter spectrum. It is a very easy chapter, very simple to understand and one more very important thing is that it's a very very easy to score. Especially in today's session we will be discussing unit A of the spectrum. In this session children we will be discussing first what happens when monochromatic light passes through a prism that is deviation produced by a prism when monochromatic light passes and there we discuss what is angle of deviation and which factors does angle of deviation depends then we discuss dispersion and even we discuss cause of dispersion finally in today's class we will be discussing what is a spectrum ok children before going to start today's chapter, today's topic especially, let us discuss a few keywords which are very important to us, we have to recall so that our discussion will become very 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 easy. So in that the first term of course it's very easy term and we all know very well about it. That term is nothing but light. Children can you tell what is light? Okay, first let me write keywords, keywords which here is a keywords which are very important to understand. Okay, chalo. the first one is children, let us recall once again, what is light? What is light children? Yes, every one of us know that. What is light? Hope you are getting to your mind. Yes, light is a form of energy when it reaches our retina it produces sensation of vision sensation of vision so that energy only we can call it as a light children i have a very simple but wonderful question can you answer yes try it the second term i want you to tell is color c o l o u r color what is a color children what is a color children if you know the answer of course you might be knowing you have to mention a comment box yes hope you are getting yes getting yes let me tell you so children here color what is a color is that color is nothing but light only but fixed wavelength it's very 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 important what is color children the light with a fixed wavelength is called color. Let me write here. Wavelength. Okay. The light with fixed wavelength is called color. Children here, I have one more question. What is that? Okay. Let us uh, think about white and black. Children, I have one question here. Is white color or not? Is white color or not and one more thing is that is black color or not just think and mention the common box just yes or no yes or no is white color or not is black color or not okay okay so can I tell yes in fact actually white and black these are not a colors you may get surprised Sir, what is that? Whenever we go to shopping, we can say that, hey, excuse me, can you show me white color, or black color shirt, white color shirt, white color t-shirt, black color t-shirt. But what is this, sir? You are saying that white is not a color, black is not a color. Yes, children. That's very, very, oh, okay. It's a very, very, very important. Yes, of course, see, again, I'm telling you, scientifically thinking and real life thinking definitely makes a difference. Let us think scientifically. Before going to think about is white color or not, once again just look at this definition. What is a color? Light with a fixed wavelength. Means what? Only it should have only one wavelength. But children, we all know that here white, white is a combination of seven wavelengths. Combination of seven wavelengths. White is not a light with a single wavelength. So, as it is a mixer of, it is a combination of seven wavelengths. So, it is not a color. Hope I am clear. Once again, I am telling you, what is a color? 
the light with a fixed wavelength i mean it should have only one wavelength but here white is a combination of seven wavelengths of course that we'll be discussing in the in this uh, what are in detail in a dispersion okay so as a white is a combination of seven wavelengths so it is not a color am i clear you can say that white light but not white color so i am talking scientifically scientifically we should not say that white color rather we can see that it is white light then you may get one note sir what about black then yes even black also not color then you may get one note sir here you are writing then which color you are writing of course i can say it's a black color only but we should not say that why children so to understand that of course see in your room just look at any holes it may be socket holes any other holes look at that how they are appearing obviously they are appearing in black what is the reason the reason is that when light enters into a black or we can say any hole light won't get reflected means absence of light there won't be any reflected light so whenever there is no reflected light it appears black it appears black so hope i'm clear in real life we can say the black color white color but when we are talking about scientifically we should not say that white color black color what we have to tell we have to tell white light only hope i'm clear yes and children one more important term let me tell you and that is wavelength children what is a wavelength what is wavelength and this term even we get in sound chapter also yes so uh, we know that you know violet color has you know less wavelength red color has a wave uh, what we can say highest wavelength but how can we show that yes let me show you here see children here this look at here yes so the distance between one crest and another crest is actually lambda we can call it the wavelength right so it is for let us say a violet light so violet color we can say that okay now but whereas this is how actually for a red color this is how actually for a red color right on sense it is a for a red color so this is how both are differ so violet color has less wavelength red color has more wavelength okay am i clear fine so what is wavelength the distance between two successive crest here we can say that here this we can call it as actually what we can say it's a wavelength so red color has maximum wavelength whereas violet color has minimum wavelength okay children fine now what is a frequency that term also very important what is actually frequency children can you think what is the frequency what actually frequency is so next term so third term which we discuss actually lambda that is a wavelength and the fourth term is you say frequency frequency what is the frequency children the number of waves produced in a second the number of waves produced in a second is called actually frequency okay children fine so these are the terms these are the keywords which are very important to understand a further discussion okay fine yes children as we have learned keywords now let us start actually topic today what are we going to discuss the first topic which we are going to discuss is deviation produced by a prism so especially here we'll be discussing what happens when monochromatic light we are going to discuss for a monochromatic light children monochromatic light monochromatic light children we discussed already about a prism right we discussed already about a prism in a fourth chapter that is refraction of light at a plane surfaces children what is a prism let us recall so prism is a solid refracting surface which is consisting of three plane refracting surfaces which are arranged in the form of a triangle that is called actually prism children what is a monochromatic light children mono means single children mono means single chrome means what color 
chrome means what color so monochromatic monochromatic light so with what the color with a single wavelength the light with a single wavelength is called actually monochromatic light children can you give example for monochromatic light can you yes right yes you can tell violet color indigo blue red orange these all are monochromatic lights only with these all are monochromatic light so here i think it's very clear to all of us that here it's a red color i have chosen can i say that red is a monochromatic light of course yes why red means it has a fixed wavelength approximately 8000 angstroms approximately it is a 8000 angstrom so now what happens when this monochromatic light incidents on one of the refracting surfaces children here ab is the first refracting surface ac is the second refracting surface children just recall one second what would happen if there was no prism here children we know that as long as the medium is same light would travel in a straight line path so if there was no prism children this light uh, so called red color would have traveled in a straight line path like this okay but now in this path prism is introduced still do you think that it can travel in a straight line path of course no then what happens obviously refraction takes place children let us recall once again the concept of refraction whenever light travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium it bends at the interface between the two mediums now look at here children it is air it is glass again it is air okay so ab is a boundary between air and a glass so air is a rarer medium glass and denser medium children what happens when light ray travels from rarer to denser medium it bends that to towards the normal or away from the normal first for that we have to make a normal so at this point children let me make a normal so whenever light travels from air to glass it moves it bends towards the normal i mean what here this light will bend here and travel in this direction okay that is fine means what children actually actually what should happen here light should travel okay along this dotted line but because of prism refraction is taking place is getting deviated so how can we calculate the deviation here the deviation we can represent with the delta 1 children delta 1 is a deviation produced at a first refracting surface clear fine and this deviation depends on this angle of incidence okay after that we'll discuss the factors affecting the angle of deviation also okay that is fine now here what is happening here inside this everything medium is same so it is going along a straight line path but children again if you can say at ac surface it is coming out of the glass again it is going to enter into the air so this point again make a normal make a normal so children it's very clear to us that whenever light moves from denser to rarer medium it moves away from the normal so that what will happen actually here it would have a travel like this again but what is happening it is moving away from the normal once again so two times deviation is taking place two times deviation is taking place am i clear so at this second refracting surface this will be the deviation let us denote with the delta 2 so children delta 1 is a deviation produced at a first refracting surface delta 2 is a deviation produced at a second refracting surface but let us see once what is the total deviation produced by the glass prism when monochromatic light passes through it then how can we denote that how can we calculate that chill for that this is called actually emergent ray so let us extend this emergent ray backward direction chill and look at it this emergent ray i am extending in a backward direction let us try it like this extending so okay extending in a backward direction if you can extend in a backward direction here you can find some angle right look at here this is the angle so this will be the actually total deviation total deviation produced am i clear total deviation produced how to calculate this total deviation produced is equal to 
deviation produced at a first refracting surface plus ref, uh, deviation produced at a second refracting surface. So, this is how actually we can calculate the de total deviation produced by the prism when monochromatic light passes through it. Okay, let us recall once again what actually angle of deviation is. So, it is very important to recall to all of us angle of deviation. Chillen, can you tell what is the angle of deviation? Deviation will represent the delta. So, children, look at here. If there was no prism, light would have traveled like this. That is clear. But because of presence of prism, what is happening? It had to go like this. It had to go like this. But finally, it is going like this. So, if, look at here. Here is actually the original path of the light. But finally, it is going like this. So, will there be some angle between these two? Yes, the, some angle is there. This angle only, we can call it as a angle of deviation. So, the angle produce the angle between the original path of the light ray the angle between the original path of the light ray and emergent ray when it extended backwards or else the deviation through which the angle through which the instant ray gets deviated from its original path shall i repeat once again the angle through which incident ray gets deviated from its original path is called angle of deviation children mainly angle of deviation depends on four factors angle of deviation depends on four factors what are those the first one is So, children, these are the four factors on which angle of deviation depends. Angle of deviation depends. Am I clear? Fine. Just you copy it. Now, children, let us see once again. What happens? You also make it one doubt. Sir, this is a deviation with a prism. That is fine. What happens if this monochromatic light is replaced by white light? Children, that is going to be wonderful. Actually, examination point of view, that is very, 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 very important. What happens when white light, white light is passed through a prism? Now, we will discuss that only. When white light is sent through a prism, what is going to happen? Which phenomena is going to happen? What is the reason for that phenomena? What is the result of that phenomena? Just you copy it, we will start it. Now, we will see what happens when white light is passed through a prism. Children, before going to that, if you want to understand that, we need to understand the relation between, once again, angle of deviation and wavelength. Children, it's very, very, very important. So, children here, angle of deviation is inversely proportional to the wavelength. It's one important point. At the same time here, one more thing. We all know that angle of deviation is proportional to the refractive index. Angle of deviation is proportional to the refractive index. And even one more relation also, we must understand that velocity is velocity is proportional to the wavelength. Velocity is proportional to the wavelength. Children, these three are the keywords to understand the phenomena of what is going to happen when white light is passed through a prism. Okay, children, one second I am telling you here. So, here more the wavelength, less the deviation. Less wavelength, more the deviation. Children, first of all, what is the wavelength range of the visible light? Children, we know that visible light wavelength range is 4000 angstrom to 8000 angstrom. So, this is for violet color, this is for red color. So, children, with this, it is very clear that red color has more wavelength, whereas violet color has less wavelength. So, now let us see children, as red color has more wavelength, can I say that violet color will get deviated more than that of the red color? Of course, as a deviation of violet color is more obviously, the refractive index of violet color is greater than that of the red color. Clear? Fine. And children, one more very, very important thing. Which color will travel faster? The color, whatever the color which has more wavelength. 
that is nothing but red color so look at here speed is proportional to wavelength more the wavelength more the speed less wavelength less the speed so which means what here red color will travel faster than the violet light children these three are very very important and children one more very important thing actually why are we specifying prism only children air or a vacuum we can call it as a non dispersive mediums but whereas prism is called actually dispersive medium so here it's very very important thing is that here when this white light okay na and children before that let me tell you one important point actually so around uh, you know might be 16th or 17th century i'm not very sure that so that time also what happens you know so whenever light is passed through a you know prism well, obviously they used to get a seven colors is yes, obviously but they used to think that prism is a device which is giving a seven colors try to understand so they used to think that when you give a prism it will take white light in result it gives it gives seven colors but after that it, it you know it's proved wrong by actually sir isaac newton okay fine children so here look at here when white light is passed through a prism what is going to happen what is going to happen yes we all know that white light is going to get split into constant colors here only you may get a one doubt sir as you are saying that white light is a combination of seven colors but when it is traveling through air why it is not getting splitted why only through the prism yes are you getting the same doubt yes then you are following the class then you are uh, correcting to the content what is being discussed today okay fine the children the very very important thing. i'll tell you one important point just you imagine for example i am the one like me you can imagine seven identical persons with the same weight same of course same height it must be there now you think that i am standing like this similarly seven or you know more six members are standing just beside me back to back back to back like this then you think that we all are running with the same speed same speed children same speed here i am the first one i can hear second third fourth like that is there we all are identical ones and we all are learning with the same speed now you tell me can you see only single person or seven persons children you have to mention this point in a comment box it's very important okay so that we can understand now you tell me can you see a single person or seven persons obviously single person only why because we all are similar ones and moving with actually same chiller is not exactly 100 percentage just to give you uh, you know a bit uh, you know uh, what we can say can ex it's example so that you will get connected okay it's not 100 percentage shootable example but almost it is so as i said that seven persons are moving with the same speed children it happens with the light also when light that is the seven colors in air they all are traveling with the same speed already we learned the speed of the light is how much 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second children in air in air whether it is a violet color or red color all will travel with same speed that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second as all are traveling the same speed they'll get missed in result white light is but children the moment when white light enters into the prism is called actually prism prism will offer different refractive indexes for a different colors so what happens beginning only this is going to differ so it's very very important the moment when refractive index is a differ obviously there will be a deviation there will be deviation and what will happen different lights will different colors will travel to different speeds now you think now you think so we are the seven persons seven, seven persons we are moving the same speed yes definitely you can see as if only one person is moving now children here these seven persons these seven persons if they are moving with the different speeds different speeds now you tell me how many members can you see one person or seven persons obviously seven same thing happens here also the moment when white light enters into the prism 
prism will offer means for different colors there will be different refractive index due to which what will happen they will get deviated in the first point and second point is that different colors will travel with the different speeds which color will travel faster in a prism obviously obviously red color because more the wavelength more the speed less the wavelength less the speed so as they are getting see again i'm telling two points for a same prism but for colors the refractive index is different due to which they'll get deviated they'll get deviated and after getting deviated different colors will travel with the different speeds so that seven colors are seen okay fine so what happens actually children if there was no prism again light would have traveled along a straight line path like this straight line path but the moment when light enters into the prism they will you know travel with a different speed so that they'll get deviated they'll get dispersed and deviated means here this white light will get splitted children to make it uh, more clarity wait let me take here one color this is okay and here is one more color let me take you may get one doubt sir what is this you are drawing only two arrows only okay so let us say it's a violet color it's a red color whatever other others will be in between two three four five you can draw nicely now okay now this is so better you follow like this so that you also may get of course if you can practice you can draw better than me okay <laughs> that's fine that's good of course i wish that you should draw better than me okay so here what is happening children at this point this is called first refracting surface first refracting surface ab children this is a very important point for examination point of view at the first refracting surface what is happening here light is getting splitted children this phenomena only we can call it as a dispersion this phenomena only we can call it as a dispersion this phenomena only we can call it as a dispersion so what actually dispersion is so children when white light is passed through a prism it gets split into seven colors i repeat once again when white light is passed through a prism it is getting split into its constituent colors this phenomena is called dispersion dispersion children even you know sometimes you know for example whenever you are standing in a school or a college together okay na within the school and time is over then what happens your pt mas will come and will tell you hey children let us disperse come on disperse from here means what you have to get split it you know all direction yes that is what actually here it is happening okay fine so at this first refracting surface very 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 important first refracting surface at first refracting surface what is happening children at first refracting surface what is happening light means white light is getting splitted that is called dispersion so here dispersion is happening am i right yes dispersion that is fine and children at the same time don't you think that they are getting deviated and they are bending of course yes so whenever light travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium light will bend that phenomenon is called what refraction which means what it first refracting surface children not only dispersion but also refraction is occurring wow what a beautiful point children what a beautiful point and very important for examination point of view okay fine so at first refracting surface dispersion is happening refraction is happening is it clear fine now let us look at this ac surface so called second refracting surface children here also light rays are moving from glass to air obviously there also light will bend away from the normal so let me tell you like this okay i'm children see you must show the bending it's very 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 important you have to show the bending you know many times uh, we notice in a uh, you know <laughs> exams also till here students will write draw fine only but here what happens you know they'll take straight line if not first two will be bending 
but as it is coming downward direction you know what is happening you know it will be going like this one and they think that yes sir we are making a fine only unless we show again they'll get uh, again you know this disappointment okay now so have a good practice so that you should show bending here and here also now children here at a second refracting surface is there any chance for splitting mm, splitting to split light it should have at least more than one wavelength but here every color has only single wavelength so there is no chance of splitting so there is no dispersion phenomena here so children at second refracting surface at second refracting surface refracting surface dispersion is not going to happen okay fine but what about is there any other phenomenon is happening of course obviously what is that light ray when it is traveling from denser to rarer medium it is moving away from the normal this phenomenon is called refraction so at second refracting surface which phenomenon is taking place refraction that's it refraction okay fine then children in examination point of view they may ask a question what is the cause of refraction what is the cause of refraction so it's very 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 important so the cause of refraction cause of refraction what is that different colors different colors okay different colors travel with travel with different speeds different speeds why because they will have different refractive indexes different refractive indexes now children look at here here okay let me make it properly here yeah. this is violet indigo blue g y o r wave g r wave g r fine now children look at here yeah so this spec what we can say this colors this band of colors which are formed on the screen called spectrum which is very 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 important means what the re result of dispersion is a spectrum so it's very very important dispersion is a phenomenon spectrum is a result spectrum is a result in exam they may ask a question what is a spectrum children what is a spectrum the band of colors the band of wavelengths the band of frequencies form on the white screen when white light is passed through a prism is called spectrum so here one important point you can notice here so uh, yeah fine let it be so this is incident light ray right okay look at here this is the deviation produced by red color okay that's fine whereas this is the deviation produced by violet color so it's very clear that violet color deviated more than that of the red color okay children based on this also one important question is there when you consider a medium like a prism or a glass in that only red color will travel faster violet color will travel slower okay if not it could be different it, it could be again it could be a, a different question only so only when you consider the medium only red color will travel faster and violet color travel slower am i clear fine so children this is what actually today's discussion that's it so very very simple so let us recall once again what we have discussed first we have discussed what happens when monochromatic light is passed through a prism only uh, what we can say refraction is happening so there we discuss about angle of deviation children what is angle of deviation the angle through which incident ray gets deviated from its original path is called angle of deviation and angle of deviation depends on four factors uh, angle of incidence angle of the prism refractive index color or wavelength then we came to the topic called dispersion what is the dispersion when a white light is passed through a prism it gets split into seven colors is called dispersion what is the cause of the dispersion different colors will travel with different speeds then what is the spectrum the band of colors formed on the screen when white light is passed through a uh, prism is called actually spectrum okay children hope the concepts are very clear 
चलो बिफोर गोइंग टू एंड द सेशन आई हैव अ स्मॉल क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल एंड जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट एंड मेंशन अ कमेंट बॉक्स ओके चलो इफ यू थिंक दैट दिस वीडियो इज एटलीस्ट लिटिल बिट यूजफुल टू यू ऑल थिंक अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू विश इफ यू वांट देन यू कैन कमेंट बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेदर योर कमेंट और नॉट दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन इज दैट चिल्ड्रन सो देयर विल बी अ रनिंग कंपटीशन बिटवीन वाइट कलर एंड रेड कलर इन एयर children you may get one doubt sir how it is possible let us assume so there is a running competition between violet color and red color you tell me which color will win and why i repeat one one second my question there is a running competition between violet color and red color in air then you have to tell which color will win in that running competition and what is the reason for that ओके ना जस्ट यू ट्राई टू मेंशन ट्राई टू थिंक ट्राई टू कमेंट ट्राई टू मेंशन अ कमेंट बॉक्स इफ नॉट इन अ नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल टेल द क्वेश्चन व्हाट एवर आई हैज बट इफ माय गेस इज राइट डेफिनेटली यू आर गोइंग टू राइट अ करेक्ट आंसर इन अ कमेंट बॉक्स ओके चिल्ड्रन थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट